Uh, thank you, sir, for the permission you have given me to, give, uh, to participate in the birthday speech. I'll give you a speech with special reference on conservation and environment and climate change. And of course, with special reference to the budget action plan. Thank you, sir. You have really cared for living and you have already started thinking. You have included the climate action plan in your budget. I appreciate you so much. And I am so concerned about the depletion of water. As you know, water is very precious. And when I see the sources of water everywhere, maybe the source of water, drawing water for the PHE, sources of drawing water for the irrigation or water resource department, they are getting depleted from year to year. In this context, sir, I want to show, I want to say, and I want to suggest that the department should identify the particular source of water so that appropriate action and conservation measures should be taken in time. Because in some cases, in my constituency, sir, there are some water sources which the department has to change to resurvey to another source because of the existing sources get dried up. It is the call of the day and the duty of me and you if we think for the future generation. Because we know, we understand the preciousness of water. It's only when the water dried up and the last tree is felt, we understand that we cannot eat money. It is therefore prudent that the concerned department should take note of this. An interdepartmental approach should be paid attention to all the different sources of water so that we can serve the water for the future use, both in drinking and in agricultural field activities. I'm afraid the time is running out. And let me speak on the budget session with reference to infrastructure for governance. Let me impress upon you, sir, that Mouse Ram CNRD block has been long waiting for the setting up of civil subdivision. As you know, under Mouse Ram constituency, different communities of people are living. Kasis, Garos, Hajong, Koch, Bengalis, and others. We are facing so much of hardship and difficulties. And if the civil subdivision is set up by itself, it will take care and different action plan for the development of the constituency will be taken up. As you know, sir, that Mausram constituency is globally, globally known as the wettest place on earth. It is only when we set up the civil subdivision that all necessary action plan can be taken up for the flow of tourism industry in our constituency. Among the border blocks, Ranikor, Penusla, and Sela, they have already been, they have already obtained the administrative unit by getting civil submission. Whereas Mosin Ramsar, it was the oldest block in Kasi Hills. It was established way back in 1962. Demands of third demands we made for many years ago, but this could not be materialized. I therefore ask upon you, sir, that it is the leadership, the political leadership that can shape life, can transform life, and change life. I therefore, sir, I will not speak so much. I impress upon you to take care of my, to please take care 
and grant civil solution to my constituency, which is a long demand by the people of my constituency. Last but not the least, sir, let me touch on the agricultural sector. We have many schemes, mission schemes in agriculture and horticulture, but we lack of missionaries. We don't have enough missionaries. I mean to say that we don't have much enough manpowers. I request and I appeal to the government to take care of the insufficient manpower in the department so that the implementation of different schemes, be it state schemes or central scheme or any other mission schemes, can be implemented in letter and spirit. So with these few words, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. May I request Cabral, Cabral Lingdo to take the floor, yes. Uh, correction to be made, sir. Gabriel Walang, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Certificates, to this, sir. Uh, since uh, due to the time constraints, I have to shorten the speech. Yes, please uh, do. <coughs> I'll go straight to the point, point by point wise. So, West Kassil is one of the oldest districts in the state. But when you look in terms of developments, there are so much that we are still lacking behind. And there are different sectors that we look. When we look at the agriculture, we still maintain the same traditional system of plowing the field. But when I look at the budget, I didn't see that the government have come up with any modern technology regarding with the agriculture. At the same time, the, I'm glad to see that in the agriculture sector, a collect, collective marketing center had been set up by the government. I would urge the government to set up few collective marketing center at West Castle, particularly at Nong Stoy at Wells, so that the farmer could benefit from this uh, marketing center. Regarding the health sector, hospitals are one of the most important pillars of any society. Hospitals play a vital role in the health care system. But we have one hospital, that is the Martini and Child Hospital at Nongstoin, which has been completed uh, four years back. But when I look at the budget, I have seen that the Nongstoin Martini and Child Hospital was listed on the list. So I urge the government to see that the Martini and Child Hospital at Nongstoin need to be inaugurated in providing healthcare and catering the needs, not only of the Nongstoin, but of the West Coast Hill at large. The civil hostel at Nongstoin, which is a very vital hostel, very important for the entire West Coast Hill. Just uh, imagine, sir, a person from Nongshram, from Aradonga, he has to come to Nongstoin, civil hostel, without any ultra, ultrasound machine, and without any genetic what, all, for the uh, old age patient, we don't have an ICU, we don't have an, a dialysis room or dialysis department. A person suffering from a dialysis, he has to come uh, almost 200 kilometers to reach along. Just imagine, sir, for a poor person, how we'll manage to get a fee or just a bus fare to reach along. So I urge the government at least to open up a dialysis center at Nongstoin and as well as the ICU. Some of the upgraded center, the Nongkenjang PHC, which has been recently inaugurated, I wish the government to take initiative and to sanction so that the work could be started. And the same with the new center that the government had initiated in the lab before the election. Road connectivity, even though it was West Castle or uh, Nongstoin, in a long uh, a district, an oldest district, but the road connectivity at Nongstoin Town, it's still very at a bad shape. So I urge the governments, there are so many roads, 
one of the roads that connect, which also help to ease up the, the traffic congestion in Shillong, that is the Nongstoin Chaigong Road. 35 kilometers has been, has been on, on the progress, has been tendered, and the work is on progress, but the remaining from Rambarai to Chaigaon had not been had not been started. So if this road could be started, it is an economic income of the people of Nongstein at the West Castle, especially for the coal traders of the Nongstein and other min and other economics importance. The PMGSY roads which connect in different villages, uh, the, there's plenty of village which has not been connected. The Nongklau to Wat Jinryu and which connect to Umdolun. Another road, there's plenty of village like the Nongkanyang, Maulangyang, Mausau, Norisong, Maurok Maulangyang, Nongklung, Maukayang Langdain, and there are plenty of village which are still unconnected. So I urge the government to look to other Nongstein so that this, few, this village could be connected. And education sector, the polytechnic which has been under construction, but it has been stopped. So I urge the government to see, to look that this polytechnic, which is very important for the West Cast Hill to, uh, to be started again. The ITI at Nongstoin, which is located at Sopian, this also it was under construction, but it seems that it had been stopped now. A rehabilitation center, this is very important, which we required at Nongstoin with a lot of drug users and alcoholic. So I urge the government if we can, if not the government also can ask the, any education, educational center to open up a rehabilitation center, which is the need of the hour. A school for disability. This is very important for the under, underprivileged students to get a disability school at non uh, in the In the sports, where artificial turf, which is very essential for the people of Nongstein. And I'm glad to see that the uh, tourism sector the, from the government, they have sanctioned, sanctioned for the tourism at Nongkunum. So when we look at employment, opposing the budget, 74% of the age below the age of 35. Happy to see that five lakhs the government is going to generate it. But first of all, sir, I would like to request to fill up the vacant post, which is still remain in the state, in particular at West Castile. And in power, we have the Kenshi project. I would like to ask, or ask and inquire from the government, what is the progress and the status of the Kenji project, which we have seen that the water, the, the power supply in the states, even in Ongstoin, so many villages are still unelectrified. So I would urge the government what is the progress and what is the status of the Kenshi power project, which is very important for the state, not only for the Ongstoin. And last, so pertaining to the style and functioning of the re uh, revenue and disaster management, which emphasizes on immediate, immediate relief. There are homes have been unfit and sheltered from the rain and water as the roof had been damaged by, his, by hailstone and sometimes houses have been completely uproofed and these people do not have enough means to rebuild their house. But I have seen the relief that come from the government had come very late. For the half and the half not is so much different. For the half, they may still have the shelter, but for the half not, it's very difficult to get the relief after one year, sometimes after two years of relief. So I urge the government if they can immediately, immediately pay to them after the incident. Or maybe I would like to suggest if the advance funds at the disposal of the deputy commissioner might be increased so as to enable the DC to release sanction on a base need basis. This would be great help to the poor. Moreover, sir, I would like to increase if the amount could be increased to commemorate the rise in price. Thank you, sir. With these few words, I resume my seat.